right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So does in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. Ready. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Lands with the knee to the body. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Oh, nice jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Lunges forward with a left there. Nice kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, shoots with a double leg takedown. Looked to be a good entry, unable to finish the job. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Right hand punch from the clinch. Just missed with the left there. Nice punch, Lance. Back and forth we go. Superboy gets hit with a kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. A nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, back. continues to attack the head with those elbows in the clinch. Nice defense there, huge block. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. I believe that 
the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found. It has been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Check these low leg kicks. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break it? Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming. But until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Really remarkable to watch. Round two next. You need to snap out of it. You're taking too much damage. You have to start defending yourself. Or I'm gonna... All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting Good underway. Fight. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Straight punch land. Going upstairs with the left hook. Slips that left hand. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Back and forth we go. Joy gets caught with that punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Right hand punches the clinch. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Try to establish that jab. Big punch lands. got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Ooh, what a punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. 
Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the turn? All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Just out of range with that right hook. Good punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice one, two there. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Punches blocked. Nice punch. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick. All right, single collar tie now. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice right hand. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block. Fantastic takedown land. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do with it. Timed it perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also slay the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty Great good fight. previous two rounds, Great. I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Let's get Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. And he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Korean Superboy. Punch over the top. Straight right hand, no good. And they separate. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, lands with the ground and bounce strike. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the Korean Super Bowl. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 
Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side hook. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Real quick leg kick. Well, he's working in some really solid leg kicks right now. Shades of Edson Barboza, that foot gets off the canvas to the target in a blink. There's no wind-up, there's no load-up. He hides it so well when he whips that leg into that leg kick. And the moment it makes contact, he drives every part of his body into that kick. Oh, the kickboxing shops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Choi. Just misses with the jab. Real nice body kick lands. Good punch lands. Right hand punch the clinch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, and he gets the takedown here. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Missed with that right hand. Nice loop of punch. So there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxer going back and watching this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. That's a big strike right there. Ten seconds to go. Now connects with a right. Oh! Entertaining spread so far. Oh, what a way to end the round. Saved by the bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn. And now, a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here. So we'll see if this corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. What a point. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Just misses there with the left. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Straight right, he misses. Shot a double leg. Oh, perfect entry to slam him down. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you just land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. 
Closed guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punches the clinch. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Keep your hands up. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And they separate. Sneaky head kick. Such a fast leg kick. And he gets it. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. The right hand just misses. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Having his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. 45 seconds remain in the round. Right hand landed. Not there. Single collar tie now. Lands a switch knee. Able to land a leaping right. Leg kick. 20 seconds left. Oh, big punch lands. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Straight right is there. Tags him with the left. Can't take many of those, you better check. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for fast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gym that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Ooh, what a punch. How about that chin? Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Choi. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Back and forth we go here. Way to hide that leg kick. Great punch landing with so much power. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Clipped him with the right hand there. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. He missed with that jab attempt there. Choi's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop, John, stop. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Pretty good right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Connects with a right. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Liver kick. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by the Korean Super Bowl. Right hook to the body. Double leg. Stuffed. And they separate. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Wow, that right punch has been a money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful strike. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. <laughs> you are battering that nose. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, these man. You got to check these kicks, or you're going to be limping from the outside very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. What a fight! All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. 
All three judges score this contest 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl!